Reporting live from the Cinesphere on Ontario Place, it's live from last week episode 79. Let's go! Woohoo! On a night bike ride. Welcome you my fellow Geowalkers to another episode of Lab from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So on a hot blistering day, a nice sunny day indeed, I just want to welcome you guys to the first official day of summer. And after dropping off the wife to our chiropractic appointment a little bit earlier, I am now here in North Scarborough at the famous Woodside Square where I'm visiting a store that I haven't been to in several years. The one and only Cebu Play Sports. And I'm thinking I might buy a couple of things that I have on the shopping list, which includes for work, a new pair of shoes. And check it out guys, while I was shopping around, I was able to get a couple of real good deals in the form of this Kenneth Cole reversible belt for only 10 bucks as well as these Converse All-Stars, which are nice, beautiful, clean, and white all around, for an astounding, check out the price tag, 40 bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up the wife after a chiropractic appointment, and maybe, just maybe, show off to her my brand new shoes. Actually, you guys, you know what? I'm gonna wait until this video comes out before revealing my new shoes to her. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice and this scene from last week's episode. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice. I was still feeling under the weather. I am still feeling a little under the weather. So the wife and I decided to get some takeout at a place that I featured in one of my previous live from last week videos. Ordering some pho from Spring and Fresh Rolls. And before we enjoy this marvelous Vietnamese dinner. There you go. We have a quick birthday greeting for one of my former classmates back when I was in university. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And just to wrap up things for the night, comparing how the sunset looked last night on one of the longest nights of the year, this is how the beautiful sunset looked tonight during the summer solstice. So after still not feeling well this morning, waking up early about this time, and only having this amount of sleep last night, I accompanied the wife to drive her to work this morning, and luckily was able to fall back asleep for a midday nap. But then I was motivated to do a couple of chores around the house, make the place real tidy and nice for when the wife comes home later, and once again, try to rest up a little bit. But then I got a message from one of my friends, who, over a set of a couple of messages, convinced me this evening to drive downtown and join him on this thing called the Neon Bike Event. So I'm gonna take out my triathlon bike from the Mini and get ready to meet him at Nathan Phillips Square for this night bike event. Scotty, what's up? What's up, man? <laughs> neon night bike ride today and I'd like to especially thank Scott for bringing me along tonight as well as Christina for accompanying us on the ride but anyways before I wrap it up for the day and catch my last go train for the night 
we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my elementary friends back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maggie. Happy birthday, Maggie. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. After yet another short sleep, rising up early this morning, with my eyes, as you guys can see, being barely open, I drove the wife to work for her day shift today. With this little live view of the Google Maps car entertaining me on my GPS while I drove. But yeah, at this time, I'm actually recalling just how much fun I had on that neon night bike ride that we had last night. And I'm hoping to reunite with this group on another bike ride sometime on a future Thursday. Which, if you guys are interested, you could post a comment on this video and we'll set up a meetup for you guys to join me sometime later on this summer. And thinking about that bike ride last night, also reminded me that while we were riding around, I actually saw somebody out of the corner of my eye who kind of looked familiar. Yo, on this random neon night bike ride, guess who I ran into? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Scored off, yo! I haven't seen this guy in like 20 years. What's up, man? How's it going, Jeremiah? I haven't seen this dude in like 18 years. Yeah, man. Um, Where are we? We're at Sorona Park right now. It's like 9 p.m., nice summer night. <laughs> Good to run into an old friend. Yeah, man. Not Yo, it's nice seeing you again. Ah, Vader scored off. Man, it was so great running into you and catching up with you last night scored off. And I'm hoping that we can resume catching up with each other sometime in the near future. But continuing on, I'm also recalling the time earlier this week when I stopped by the intersection downtown at Queen and Bay where at this time of the year, around 7 p.m., while driving northbound, you'll get this unique double reflection in your eyes. Where the sun, slowly setting from the west, is shining in your view, while its reflection to the east is also coming off a glass building, essentially blinding your view from both sides. So this is just a word of advice to take caution while driving in that area at this time of year. But yeah, on to remembering those brand new shoes that I bought earlier this week. Well, tonight I'm planning to break them out for the first time at work as well as say goodbye to my old shoes that have served me well over the past three years throughout the pandemic. And just know that you guys will surely be missed. But anyways, before I actually do go in for work for my first of my three night shifts this evening, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a beach volleyball friend of mine, with whom I've played alongside with at beach volleyball tournaments last summer, and who I can't wait to reunite with to play twos again this summer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Karen. Happy birthday, Karen. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, who I'm remembering I used to hang out with while being babysat after my elementary school classes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After a very busy and overwhelming stressful night shift last night, as well as coming to terms with finally saying goodbye to my old work shoes, this morning I just needed something to get my mind off all of my stresses. So after seeing this McDonald's commercial a couple of days back featuring their new Minions items, on my commute home this morning I decided to pull up the McDonald's app and make a post night shift Happy Meal order to help me feel happy after my stressful shift. And after staying outside the restaurant, waiting for my curbside delivery to drop off my food, just like this scene from a previous live from last week episode where I had my post-night shift McDonald's breakfast on a go train, I finally arrived to the condo to enjoy this new Minions McDonald's Happy Meal from the comfort of my home. And I don't know if you guys remember this scene from Father's Day from last week's episode, but last night I was finally able to use that lunchbox that I'm officially using as my bowen holder for my midnight meals at work. And yeah, speaking of work, before I go in for my second of my three scheduled night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of the King J Knows performers from my wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to my niece, Aaliyah. Happy birthday, Aaliyah. I'm hoping that at this time, you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that we'll get together sometime soon to celebrate your birthday in the near future. So, I'm recalling a scene from a couple of weeks back when I drove all the way to North York to take the wife to a nail appointment to go get her nails done. I just wanted to take this time to give her some props and to show off her newest set of nails. 
I also wanted to share with you guys a pretty cool milestone of mine. If any of you guys are on the language learning app called Duolingo, y'all know that learning a new language takes daily practice. And well, guess who on this language learning app has unlocked a 1900 day streak of practicing their languages? It's this guy. So, to celebrate, and inspired by that Neon Knight bike ride that we had a couple days back, I went online this morning to make a spontaneous purchase for something that I may be able to use at some future events. AKA, maybe tomorrow's Pride Parade? And well, after ordering this thing before I took my post-night shift nap, that lasted for about three and a half hours today. When I woke up this morning, I looked outside my condo door and check out what I found hanging on my doorknob. Literally just four hours after ordering it online, you guys guessed it, it was my spontaneous purchase of the day. But anyways, before I actually start using it, I unfortunately still have to get some batteries for it to work. So I guess you guys will just have to wait until tomorrow to find out if this spontaneous buy is actually functional. Either way, I still have to go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, my eighth scheduled night shift in the span of 14 days this pay period, and before I go, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First of all, a birthday greeting to a high school friend of mine that I used to play indoor soccer with in a fundraiser back at HT. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tammy. Happy birthday, Tammy. And secondly, we have a birthday greeting to one of my nephews back in the Philippines with whom I'm remembering roaming around SM City Iloilo and shooting water guns with him in the summer heat. This birthday shout out goes out to you Jam Jam. Happy birthday Jam Jam. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Man, after a busy night shift last night and my eighth shift in this pay period, I'm just about ready to go home and pass out. But first, since it's Sunday, I'll be going to post night shift Sunday mass at my local church downtown, back to the place where I got married at the parish of Our Lady of Lords. So after a beautiful Sunday mass and taking a quick post night shift nap this afternoon, it's time to finally reveal to you guys what I spontaneously bought yesterday. Guys, the wife is gonna definitely kill me after this. Bubble gun! Woo hoo hoo! Woo hoo hoo! Yeah! So, yeah, it's time to head downtown and, for the first time live in person in over three years, bring with us our newfound toy and check out the Toronto Pride Parade. <laughs> So, as you guys can tell, the Pride Parade yesterday was pretty fun. Especially from another view of this photo that was captured from one of my beach volleyball friends. And recalling those books that we had when we were younger, the Where's Waldo series? Playing Where's Waldo, can you guys spot me in the crowd in the picture here? There I am, the one with the blue backpack and the neon orange shorts. Anyways, at the parade yesterday, I got to run into and see a couple of my old friends. Including one of my university friends, Yuli, who was part of the parade representing Front Runners Toronto. One of my friends that I featured in the Skate Toronto series that I skateboarded with a couple years back. Yo, Mac! Randomly running into him at the parade. What's up, bro? One day, they'll figure it out. Woo! 
Last time I saw this guy was making skateboarding videos. <laughs> He's back, man. Nice to see you, man. <laughs> and one of my other good friends, who we last saw a couple months back, dropping him off on a mini carpool after we had a night shift together. Woo! I'm a gamer too! I'm a gamer too! <laughs> And after hours upon hours standing watching the parade, I went with Bilas and his partner Yoshi walking around the village area until we managed to get line bypass and VIP access to a local bar, a table of three for us at the local Storm Crow Manor, where I had this delicious pride-themed butterbeer drink and had opportunities to roll a 20-sided dice to see what kind of random shots we can take from their secret shot menu. And the cool thing about this game is that if you did roll a 20, you would get their specialty double shot, as well as get to keep this pretty cool shot glass to take home with you. All right, happy Pride take two. Woo! <laughs> I tried out their main burger off their Storm Crow Pride menu called the Gamma Burger, which was actually pretty good from what I can remember. And after trying several Pride shots, from their secret menu, we hit up a couple of dance parties on Church Street before parting ways for the night. And well, for me, I wrapped up my happy Pride Day by doing a downtown Toronto visit to V, reuniting with my wife and a couple of friends. But moving on, just over a week ago on Saturday for Father's Day weekend, I'm recalling giving my dad a pretty special card. Hey dad, so I'm busy tomorrow, right? What do you think? We're not going anywhere because I'm busy tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Right here is your Father's Day gift. Thank you, Majaj. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I need a message. Okay, you can get uh, the Groupons that we've been giving mom for Father's Day. You can have hers. Along with a brand new Blue Jays gift card. Which I'm hoping that sometime in the near future, I could use to buy tickets for him for an upcoming Blue Jays game. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to the Blue Jays game tonight with one of my beach volleyball friends. Who you guys remember, back in December, I went out to my very first Leaf game with him. So it's time to wrap things up here at home and go meet my buddy Jason at the Dome. Number 11. So, after a great win by the Blue Jays, 7-2, to two, right? 7-2? to two? I just want to thank Jason for treating us out. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> and Harry for joining us on this journey. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.